Hello everyone, uh, my name is Charles Brakes. I'm a product of Chicago, Illinois. I'm here in uh, Little Lamb, Texas with my grandson and my, my son and their family. And uh, we were telling a few stories and uh, my uh, grandson would like to document a story uh, back when I was a high school player, 67, 68 season. The Red Central in Chicago was one of the toughest uh, conferences you ever wanted to play it for. Uh, there was uh, Dusabo, Dunbar, uh, Inglewood, Parker, schools such as the, that back then. Of course, that was a long time ago. And we were just discussing about how uh, difficult it was to play in the city of Chicago back in those days. You had to be tough to play in that, uh, in that city. And uh, one instance, uh, my team was playing in Inglewood, uh, uh, the Inglewood area, which is probably one of the toughest areas uh, to grow up in in uh, Chicago. Uh, we were playing at a school, I believe, uh, Limbloom High School, and um, the game was well into the uh, third quarter, I believe. And uh, I was giving them some buckets that day. Uh, of course, I was an uh, all area, all city basketball player at uh, Wendell Phillips High School. So I had a little reputation. This was my senior year, 67, 68, mind you. And uh, it was on the free throw line. Uh, normally at the free throw, I would never look up in the stands, uh, never, uh, you know, pay any attention to the spectators. But this particular time, uh, a young man walked up to the front of the uh, bleachers there, opened up his, uh, his coat, showed me what I believe was a uh, pistol, and told me, you bet not make another bucket. And um, imagine someone doing that to you, really shocked me. And um, you know, the game continued on, and I, I, I had to make a decision, you know, was I going to not make another bucket and fold, or was I going to play? Uh, I decided to continue to get buckets. I think I had 39 points that game, and uh, uh, that was one of the uh, most uh, tragic things that ever happened to me coming up to have to face someone telling you not to make another bucket and I had to make the decision what I was going to do. I decided that I was going to uh, get buckets and uh, as it turned out uh, uh, I, I came out uh, uh, un unharmed. So uh, uh, you know my grandson thought that was a uh, really um, strange uh, to say the least and he wanted to put this on video. Um, I have many other stories I could tell this kid and uh, we'll sit down and we'll get to all of them one of these days. Bye now. This is Chuck Brakes signing out.